Fannie Mae came about four years after FHA, right? So FHA came about first, and that was in 1934. Damn. Yep. By 1938, the government still wanted to promote home ownership in the U.S. Well, how do you promote home ownership? You have to make home ownership more accessible. How do you make it more accessible? Offer better lending terms. What are better lending terms? Lower down payments and lower payments. How do you uh, offer lower payments? Well, allow someone to finance over 15, 20, or 30 years and not five, seven, or 10 years, right? Allow people to put five or 10% down and not 30 or 50% down. Because prior to FHA and then Fannie Mae, if you wanted to buy a home, you probably paid cash or you saved up a large down payment, such as 40, 50%, mm -hmm. and you financed the rest of the money at your local bank, probably over three, five, up to 10 years. Think of an auto loan today. Think of an RV loan today, right? So what did Fannie do? Well, Fannie came in and they created liquidity or gave access to liquidity for a home buyer to purchase a home at a payment that was affordable by extending that payment 15, 20, or 30 years and at down payments that were more reasonable, not requiring someone to put 30, 40, or 50% down, allowing them to do 5, 10, or 20% down. But you can't get a loan from Fannie Mae. You have to get a loan from your bank. So really the liquidity was offered to the banks, right? So the federal government said, let's create this institution Let's make it a private entity, but created by the government and private. If you're not watching on YouTube, I used air quotes right mm -hmm. now. And then let's allow banks to go lend money to the consumer following our guidelines, our rules, our regulations, and then the banks can sell us that paper. So essentially we are going to make the banks whole. The banks went out and the banks created uh, the loan. They funded the loan, but then the bank doesn't want to hold on to that paper, the bank wants to sell that paper to recoup the money they lent plus maybe a small profit and the banks just want to rinse and repeat. And that is essentially what Fannie Mae was set up to do back in 1938. It was set up to offer liquidity to banks so that banks would want to go out and lend money under more favorable terms. Cool. And then somewhere along the lines, let's say, I don't know, 32 years later, 1970, Freddie Mac was formed. The reason why Freddie Mac was formed because Fannie Mae didn't have any competition. 